What's up? We're back with another video. I had previously recorded some clips of me practicing on this car, buffing and polishing. There was some clear coat failure right here from the gas. We're gonna use 1500, 2000, 2500. Just finished with 2000 grit. This is it knocked down with 3000 grit. I'm gonna go ahead and use extreme compound on the buffing pad with some conditioner. That's where I had practiced for. And as you can see now, it looks good. There's nothing there. So we're getting our confidence up with the machine that we ordered if you watch the unboxing video. So there's a couple spots around the car that obviously need some work. There's a big spot right there you can see on the hood. So uh, basically we just wanna go through in this video in the car and get rid of whatever spots I can. Possibly, I wanna see what I can do about this. Um, I don't know if I could do much besides just straight up repainting it, but there's other areas like this. This is legit. Clear coat is coming straight off the car, so probably way too far gone to do anything about other than trying to match paint. And as you can see this, this is terrible. I don't know what happened here, but the trunks like that too, if you can see. It's kind of hard to see right now and the lighting is almost one o'clock in the morning but i'm gonna see what i can go through see what i can get out of the car without having to touch paint so i'm gonna start real real light with 1500 You can still see it from up top. You can for sure see where it is. So still needs to come down, but this is now our square. For 1500, I'm gonna stop there. It's knocked down pretty decently. You can still see it a tiny bit. You can see the area we're working in, but obviously if I'm gonna go up a grit, I'm gonna hit it with uh, 2000 and 2500, and then we'll hit it with the buffer. Can't notice where the sun damage was. It's basically all the way knocked down. That was the end of 3000. Just went over it real light. Don't want to take too much off. It looks, well, I mean, it feels smooth and you can't really see much at all. If you look at it from behind the lights point of view, you kind of notice a little bit, but I don't want to keep going deeper and deeper. Uh, it should be enough to take it away. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the whole entire area now with a fresh microfiber and some water and then we'll get the buffer out and we'll go into it. All right, for buffing, I'm gonna use the Chemical Guys Extreme Compound because I have the Chemical Guys Polisher. I'm gonna use a heavy cutting pad with this compound and then I'm gonna spray it with some conditioner and then we'll get to the spot. That was the first round of buffing with the extreme compound. As you can see, there is no residue, but it takes a little while to show up if there will be any leftover marks. But as of right away, it looks good for just a compound, feels smooth. You can notice this area. You can see some light scratches still from the sandpaper as you move through it with the light. So we'll hit it again with a I put some more compound on the buffer and we'll do another light coat and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, second coat of the compound. Starting to look even better. Has a pretty clear finish. The whole entire car, you can see scratches throughout the whole entire paint. So I don't think me wet sanding this one area to get out the sun damage is really gonna take out all these scratches. I mean, in theory, if I did this perfectly, it should. I think so. Uh, I'm not an expert, I'm still learning. But from for me, 
it's pretty clear you don't see any marks like it was like if you looked at an orange peel paint job and you could see real discoloration and you can see a clear image in the reflection that the paint's messed up as far as this goes it looks good it's sparkly and clear I'm gonna give it a little bit to dry just to make sure I didn't miss anything and nothing pops back up through the compound after it fully cures and then we'll hit it with some polish I might go a second step and hit it with some hybrid compound and then go to polish just to make sure this stays okay we just used the hybrid compound and I used a little more pressure on the machine and as you can see it looks good get this to focus it looks good it's kind of it's really hard to tell scratches but it's, it's kind of playing with me the light setup if I use the flash on my camera or the flash from this light um, it's really hard to tell and in certain lights there's no scratches and other angles with the garage lighting you can kind of see the same swirl scratches that are everywhere in the car so not necessarily what we did but the same scratches that were already there still aren't really coming out but as it goes from this i mean the paint looks good there's it still needs to be cleaned you can see some marks in the paint still from the dust and particles from the pad we get to focus the better you can kind of see some scratches right there if you move with it you can kind of see the scratches but if you go anywhere else on the car where we haven't touched wipe it down it's it's terrible there's scratches everywhere so it's not necessarily what we did with let's say sanding but anywhere else on the car there's full of scratches the area we did isn't bad at all I'll turn on my flash as you can see the paint the paint looks good this is the area we did where we sanded and buffed let's go to another area in the car and see the paint it still looks good but the silver hide scratches as you can see there's some scratches all throughout still a little bit dirty from the marks just from sanding all over this paint hides the scratches in certain lights so it's, it's really hard to tell because honestly this paint looks good everywhere but it's really not once you go into fine details so let's hit it with some polish and let's get a final result switching over to final grade polish switch the pad to a softer one this is for the final polish it's much softer Sprayed it with conditioner and let's get to it. Okay, that was the first final polish. Looks a little better, but really not much difference into the actual paint. We'll get a close up. Still looks good, but you can see. There's still some minor scratches coming through when you're real close. So I'm honestly not sure. It might have been a mistake on my part. It might not have been a mistake. It might just be an error of the way I polished it with the machine. Maybe you guys could let me know. Any tips or tricks. Any missteps. But as you can see, the reflection is gloss clear. Way better than before. So I'm going to clean up the whole area and let it sit and then we'll come back when it's fully dried. Okay, our area is all clean. This is the area where we had polished. As you can see, there is still, there's marks in the paint for sure. Not from what we did, but there's rock chips and some flaws on the paint. But for the area we did, it doesn't look bad. This is the area we haven't touched, which looks good. But if I shine the light, let me see if I can get the light to shine right. I'm trying to get it so you can see fully. Right there, you can kind of see. So you can see all those scratches in the paint. That's basically how most of the car looks. And it looked like this before. So the same, same angle of the light. 
I didn't switch the angle so you could still see the scratches. You can see there is one right there. You can kind of see a big one. It's just too deep for us to get with the buffer. But the area we did looks 10 times better versus all of that. So it definitely made a big difference. I'll put the light down so we can get some natural light and we'll get a further angle. Reflection wise, can't really tell because it's a dark spot at the garage, but at the end of the day, you can see the reflection on the hood right now. It looks good. It looks decent. It's not bad. This is the other area we touched up. But as you can see, this area looks good as well. The whole area feels 10 times better. The paint, the paint feels amazing. So I'm gonna get this video out to you guys and let me know any final recommendations, tips, tricks, and then uh, we'll do a part two and we'll get back to it and have uh, some more paint correction for y'all. We'll get into those areas right there. And then I also want, if you guys could recommend me anything for this. This is terrible. They're, it, they don't groove your fingertip. Um, none of that has caught my fingertip. Let me turn on the flash a little dark back here. Um, some of these are a little deeper but still, they don't, they don't grab my fingertip. So, is this buffable at all? What if I wet sanded this whole entire area, got it down deep enough and thin enough that it removed it? Would this come back? Or is this just completely gone? Because if you can see the scratches, it looks, it's hard to tell because of the silver, but it really looks like they're deep. But when you fill them, they're not. So I don't know if this is all the way down to the actual paint and it's just completely gone with the clear and this is just super thin and that's why it looks like that. So if you guys have any recommendations or, or just a straight up answer that is this buffable if I wet sanded it and then did a heavy buff and polish, would this come back or do I just need to paint the whole car and everything we're doing is pointless? Because if I had to paint the trunk and the roof, um, at that point, I might as well just send this off to paint and get the whole entire car done and just be done with everything. But it's a learning experience, so let me know what you guys think. And uh, I got some more content for y'all, so stay tuned. So like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want a part two. And let me know uh, what you guys think. So thank you for watching.